Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another RMA Fire tutorial. And today I will teach you how to um, generate bomb based on noise maps um, using box. So, um, what well, the idea of this tutorial is to create a bomb, create a noise inside a box, and then use this to split up materials and therefore get some very interesting patterns, patterns controlled at um, surface operators level meaning inside of subs so for example i'm going to show you guys um, how this works using this simple grid uh, what i want to do first is increase the amount of points that we have in the grid the subdivisions and i'm just going to delete this box so you can see what i'm doing from scratch just an attribute box um, and inside of box i'm actually going to move this here and hit p so that it's here. Then I'm gonna do a turbulent noise and I'm gonna connect my position onto the turbulent noise and this into the CD. This is automatically gonna give me this noise. And this noise is really nice because we can control it here and uh, we can do a lot of things to it, right? Um, additionally, if you wanted to take this to the next level, you can also do two noises and connect this one to the frequency. And then start playing with some of, this, some of these noises, which will give you some very interesting patterns. If you right click and you do create input parameters and then create input parameters in here as well, then we're going to be able to come out here and control these parameters here. Um, I want to make sure that it is clear to see that one, the, the color variation difference. And I'm going to get myself some more points. You will see that if we start to offset this, then you will definitely get some beautiful things happening. So that's for our initial noise. All right. Now what we want to do is we're going to connect this here onto our material. And then we're going to go into our material and I'm just going to delete this and create a new one. So I'm going to use an RS material and this is going to be my first material. I'm going to create, duplicate that, create my second material and I'm on an RS blend and I'm going to blend between these two materials. On our base, we'll connect the first one, second one. RS material blend. Here we go. And then we're going to create a point attribute. Uh, RS attribute lookup. Particle point. Uh, RS point attribute. And we're going to be looking for the CD. Alright, so um, I've already created a simple dome. I'm going to use an RS, uh, um, an RMA fire dome for this. I'm just going to save this project here on our tutorials so that I can send this to you guys and share it. So we're going to come here, we're going to go into the packs. I'll use the parking lots pack and either of them are all fucking badass. Um, Alright, let's see, we'll turn off the environment and here on the background, let's enable our geometry and let's restore our view and we should be able to see a black and white, uh, the color. Same thing that we see here, we should be able to see it here in a sec. So there we go. We are now seeing our color in our render viewport. And now if we come into our material and we connect this blend that we created, we should be able to blend between both of them. And I'm going to make one of them, say for example, gold, so that we understand and distinguish them both here. So there we go, we're seeing the gold and we're seeing the other one. Looks a little bit dark. So let's just use something like this. 
Let me increase the intensity here so that it's easier to see. And let's see if we increase the roughness maybe. I just want to make sure we have a little bit more contrast so that it's easier for you guys to see. So maybe around here and maybe instead of a yellow I use a pink or something that is a little bit more distinguishable. And there we go, that's going to be easier to see. So now we have a noise based uh, created in box that we can now create some interesting stuff here. So we create an artist noise. Let's visualize what this looks like. And let's come in here. And like the previous tutorial, you will be able to tweak um, the parameters easily to create some interesting noises here. And then this noise, if we grab this material coming down here. Then we can connect our RS bomb into the bump right here and connect this onto this. Now, if we visualize what that gives us, you will see that we are now getting noise um, displacement on the white areas, right? And then the pink areas which are these ones, are not being affected at all. So let's see if we create the frequency maybe smaller. So that is easier to see. There we go. And if I crank this up a lot just for you guys to be able to see it, You will notice that we are now getting some noise on the white areas and the on the pink areas are not being affected. So what's the theory here? The theory is that you can now create whatever pattern you want to create inside of um on box, right? And then you can animate it and create some very interesting things applying whatever bump you want to one of the areas and a different bump that you want to the other part of the material. And then if you wanted to take it to the next level, you can increase, you can add another layer of bump here, here that will affect both of them. All right guys, I hope that this tip was useful and I'll be back with more.